On this episode of Tales of Cities, I've come to Heihe in Northeast China's Heilongjiang province, an urban gem by the China-Russia border. Here, I'm going to take you on a journey through exotic natural and man-made landscapes, while experiencing this bustling hub of trading commodities. Well, here we go. The city of Heihe and Russia's Blagoviensk face each other right across the Heilongjiang River. It is so cool to sail on a boat along the river where I can have a perfect view of the charms of the two countries. It's a rainbow that crosses the border! Capitalizing on its geographic advantages, Heihe has lifted the China-Russia trade ties to a higher level enjoying rapid cross-border e-commerce growth while enriching people's online and offline shopping experience. In order to prepare a meal for my next stop, which I'm not going to spoil for you until we get there, I've come to this huge store that sells imported Russian food and snacks. Let's see what we can get to cook to fill our stomachs. The platform has also jumped on the bandwagon to participate on live commerce. Here, live streamers demonstrate and taste Russian products for their online followers. So I got fish, I got meat, and I got kind of different sausages. I think I've got all the ingredients for a special dinner tonight. After packing a chunk of my car with food and driving along National Highway 331 just by the border to catch a last glimpse of the city's autumn scenery before it's covering snow during its mighty cold winter. I'm by no means a good chef, but it's time to turn my groceries into special picnic. There is no absence of a bottle of vintage wine at a vantage spot where I can get to view an extensive sea of rocks. These are no ordinary rocks though. They are blocky masses of lava spewed by a volcano eruption that dates back 280,000 to 340,000 years ago. That's right. Now I'm in a huge volcanic area the size of 720 square kilometers. There are five lakes here that were interconnected by volcano eruption and they are called the Wu Dalianchi, meaning five connected lakes in Chinese. The gigantic volcanic cluster mainly consists of 14 young volcanoes with heights between 400 and 600 meters. The last eruption of these volcanoes occurred around 300 years ago. 
But for volcanoes, 300 years is not long at all. Centuries later, humans and wildlife have already reshaped the landscape to what we see today. With its wealth of geological features, Wu Dalianshi is celebrated as a natural volcano museum and a living textbook on volcanoes. As China opens its door wider to the world, Heihe and its Russian neighbor, Black Obiens Chance, have seen more vibrant people-to-people -people and culture exchanges. One type of artwork has made its way to Russian art galleries thanks to the passion of Tao Dan Dan, who has been bonding her life with third art culture since she was a little girl. Hwashu 啊, At the age of 23, Tao set up her own workshop. She has opened various training classes free of charge for school and communities, teaching people from all walks of life the history of birch bark culture and the ABCs of the craft. It's not only culture that Heihe is promoting to a wide audience in Russia, but also Chinese goods and services, which have found a huge market in Russia through the border city, especially with its fast developing cross-border infrastructure construction in recent years. Established in 2019, the China Heilongjiang Pilot Free Trade Zone is undertaking more market-oriented reforms to reinvigorate the country's northeastern region and deepen trade ties with partners participating in the Belt and Road Initiative. In这个自贸区域的成立背景下，产品全部对俄出口，呃，黑龙江大桥即将通车，对我们解决运力是最大的帮助。西藏书记的一带一路让我们坚定了发展方向After talking with so many enlightening people in Hehe, I have decided to end my journey here with delicious local food, of course. Remember when I said I wasn't a good chef? I meant it, because here you get to taste authentic Russian cuisines. And...